And I don't know why I've been on this song. <laughs> Dancing in my head and shit. That, that 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 situation it met that egg today. Cause nine months at baking time when the oven went off and I came out, it was November the fourteenth. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> y'all know I got it all. It's okay. Let me love on y'all today. Hey Shanice. Hey Rhoda. Hey. Look at my sister. Hey girl. Where y'all coming from, for real? Where y'all coming from? Oh, no, not birthday. Conception day. You know I'm extra, Crystal. You know I'm extra. This is the day I was conceived. Now, my half birthday is May the 14th. <laughs> we celebrating that shit, too. I mean, y'all better start celebrating y'all half birthday and y'all conception date and stuff like that. You better get to know you. But y'all excited about all that shit. Hey, you talking about? Shot town. What going on, Chicago? <laughs> I'm telling you, celebrate every piece of you. Every piece of you. I don't care what they talk about. They're going to be like, oh, you do too much and do, and you don't do enough. Bama. What's up, Alabama? I love me some sweet home Alabama. And I know everything is big in Texas, baby. Woo, yes. <laughs> we got to go to Texas. We got to go to Texas. When I see Texas toast, I say, oh, shit, now. Now, any man eating a piece of toast this big, that toast is big as my damn head. That's a man. That's a man, man. I've been wanting to come to California, too. 
Uh, but hang on, lie. I really want to go to California because I want to see if they orange juice tastes different from Florida orange juice. Shut up. That's what I want to see. Don't start all this. I know you ain't coming. Yes, I am. I, I want to see if the orange juice is different. That's why I want to go there. Now, I have been to California before, but I was younger. So, it's not like I went and I had seen some. Oh, I stay in Florida because I be down in Florida like, hey, y'all, what y'all doing? <laughs> Look, this shit popped out like, bitch, no. Take your ass home because you come down here to cut up. And did. And do. <laughs> Acting a whole food. Hey, Loretta. Good morning. Love you, cousin. Love you so much. So, y'all, it's love day. It tastes different. It's better. I believe, I listen, I be thinking about stuff like this. The sun kind of hit different over there than over here. And I know they all surrounded by water, but it's just a little, you know, I just feel like it might be a, this, this got a little bit more. Mm, in it the next that's 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 all it's just little weird shit that i be thinking about happy singles day baby yes mm. singles for single and available and available but not to the bullshit right tish you better tell them that's my that's my that's tish my valentine she don't even know it but she do know it but she do know it but she didn't know that's my valentine y'all if y'all got a friend that'll be there for you that love you so much that's your soul baby that's your valentine you're not alone you're not just because you ain't get your back rubbed on because I ain't got no booty. So, if they were going to rub on anything, they were going to have to rub on my back. The extended part is kind of low. So, I ain't get my back rubbed on. You know, it's all cool. It's cool. We're going to eat chocolate and stuff. <laughs> and we're going to be cute and love on each other. Like, girl, you're so cute today. Girl, I love how you got them colors at the end of your, um, at the end of your locks. How they just twist up like that. And then we do like that. You're so pretty. Oh, my God. See, love on yourself, bitch. <laughs> we love us. We doing good. <laughs> okay? Look, it ain't too hot. Mm -mm. Okay? It's not. It's great. <laughs> I'm not alone at all. <laughs> we can do this together all day long. If you're new to my page, though, hey, y'all. Welcome. Come on in. I'm your cousin Jenna to go get on the ones and twos, and this is the truth experience, okay? So... I just be talking to my cousins. Nothing major. We just minding our black ass business with our other shit going on too. So, depending on who you is, you probably over here minding our business too. And that's okay. If you just so happen to run across our business and you don't want to be minding it, don't. Take your finger like this and scroll that thing up like that. And then we're going to shoot way up this well and get all the way the fuck out your way. And you gotta be like, this, you try to find us. But you ain't gonna do that. Cause you don't wanna hear what we had to say in the first place. So again, if you don't wanna hear what I got to say when I'm talking to my cousin, get the fuck out. Take your finger like this and scroll that thing up like that. And you will not hear or see anything over here. And it is just that simple. Okay? Listen. Pool full of liquor and go dive in it. Go dive. Go do some other shit. Okay. Now, we got that all out the way. Let's talk about love. Let's talk about anything and everything you want from. Okay. I had a channel message today. And I wanted to get aggravated with it, but I can't. Jen Juicy, what's up, baby? Love you. I can't get aggravated with the message because I had to learn from the message. I used to mistake things for love that was really manipulation. Ohio, what's up, baby? My daddy from Marion, Ohio. I don't know how far that is from Cleveland. Look, Cincinnati looking at. I like Ohio people. I be like, Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey. So, y'all, I found out that some stuff I thought was love. Hey, Unstoppable, love you. It wasn't love. It was manipulation. Oh, Wyoming, I would love to go there because I just want to see grass and stuff. I, or so I heard. I ain't never been, so I don't know what it looked like. But I would love to see the grass because I like to lay in grass and shit. Like, y'all, I done been in a public place and I didn't feel good. I went lay right in them people yard in they grab with my shoes off and took a nap. And folks walking by trying to figure it out and everything. It ain't none of my business. Be mine, yours. I'm over here trying to ground myself. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so weird. Okay. Anyway, let me unsidetrack myself. My thing is, some stuff we thought was love is really not love. Wide open spaces. See, see, see what y'all do to me. 
I'm, I'm telling you, ADHD, something. <laughs> I be getting drawn in. And when I thought about this love thing, and I realized that it wasn't love, I started feeling bad. Like, I start, ooh. Do y'all know, up until recently, and I have four children, ages 17, 13, 8, and 6. I had never, hey, best ever me, love you, cousin. I had never had someone say, hey, let's go get some drinks. Would you like to go to dinner? When somebody actually did that to me, I was like, what are you auditioning for, a movie? What the fuck? Huh? People don't ask people to do that in real life. I was confused because I had been under the assumption of how, where I come from, and it might just be me. I'll, I, listen, this is one thing you can't do. You can't judge me, bitch. Because guess what? I went through this. I don't do it now. So whatever I used to do, I don't do that shit no more. But I'm going to tell you what I used to do because a lot of people don't know that they was doing this. And then when I didn't know and I got delivered from it, I started developing myself so I wouldn't do that shit again. The way I used to meet people is because I would be like throwing a kickback or something. And then one of my homeboys would bring a homeboy with him. And then I be minding my business trying to act uninterested in everybody that's there because I really ain't there for that. I'm just throwing the party. Then somebody I'm kicking with, they start, the homeboy start liking me being kind of cool. And then it's like, well, can we talk or can we exchange numbers? And then they get to calling me all the time. We ain't went nowhere or nothing. And then it's like, okay, well, can I come by and see you? And I ain't going nowhere because I, I ain't got the money to be trying to spend and go out here and in folks club all these cover charges and paying the parking shit. I, I don't participate. Fuck you and your club. You're not going to get all my money that I just worked for this Friday. I just got it in my pocket. I'm going to come give it all to you, bitch. No. So my mind be on some other shit. I paid rent already so I can sit at the house for the free. That's what I'm thinking. You know, I'm just thinking fiscally for myself. So yeah, you could come over here and you could chill. But then it started being a all the time thing and then we just kind of like go into running into okay now we go together because we done been got down doing all this shit and i done got used to seeing you every day it was never i've never been dated properly mm -hmm. i never knew that there was a proper way to date i always thought that if i'm talking to this nigga i can't talk to nobody else because he finna get mad and da -da -da. i didn't know i had the right to go and talk to this nigga and that nigga i didn't have to fuck them all that's what's wrong with you i never do that I ain't never been that type. I ain't, I just can't. Uh, look, if you do it, that's your pussy. Do your thing. I have never been the type to be able to sleep with this person, this person, this person. So I can date people, and I don't even like you like that because I see your trauma bonds. I don't want that in me. I see your codependency issues. So you're not going to bring that over here. You cool, though. But for this and not for that. You know, I'm real. I can decipher. And I'm like, at this point in my life, I am not financially ready to date. I'm not. Because I don't like people taking me places I can't afford to go by myself. I'm being real. Some of y'all bitches need to get with it. I'm being real. I don't feel like I'm emotionally ready because sometimes what people be doing, it just, my face just can't calm down. So I, I don't want to be out looking at you like this all day when I know you lying. You know what I'm saying? So I need... A level of emotional maturity to come at me so I can relax my face, you know, because otherwise I'm this the whole entire time. And you're not going to like my face like this. You're going to want me to calm down. But then when this vein right here pop up in my neck, boy, you better run. You better run. I see your demons. I don't like them. I'm going to call them out. She can get real. That I get little. You know what it mean when that I get little. Okay? So... I recognize those things about me, but I wasn't going to know that until I had to find out. Bitch, you didn't never date before. You ain't never dated. You had convenient dick. <laughs> this nigga just showed up and you wasn't going to go look nowhere else. You can't be tired of love. You can't be tired. You ain't never fucking went out there and did nothing. This shit was brought to you. Sponsored to you by somebody that you knew and shit. Why would you take their advice? Birds of a feather. He cheating on his girlfriend and he trying to come to your house to do it. Mm -hmm. And he brought a friend. 
And you fell in love. I did. Guilty. Present. I got fucking perfect attendance in that shit. That's how I got four kids by three different niggas. Because that shit happened again. And then it happened again. And then it happened again. It wasn't because I was just out here trying to be loose to the world and no shit like that. It went but three niggas that I dated. My children are four years the fuck apart. I tried love. This nigga didn't love me. I learned, I got over it. Okay, I'm healed. All right, let me go back out here. Oh, oh hey. What you talking about? Some hey. Oh, okay. You, you want to love on me? Absolutely. I want to be loved. I'm going to accept that love because no, nobody else want to do it. Come on. Um, I don't love you. Wait a minute. There's a whole kid here now. What are you talking about? We. Okay. Oh, shit. All right. Go on, on then. Go on, on. Here come another motherfucker. All right. Like, I ain't finna give up. Mm -hmm. I'm going again. This one gonna be right this time. I done learned from this, 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 this. I tried to shit the fuck. Okay, now, bitch, you ain't learning nothing. You repeating the cycle. Uh-uh. Uh, cut, cut it out. Something ain't right. Check yourself. Okay. Bit. So now I gotta regroup. That was, that was dating and love for me, but that's how I learned it. That's how they was doing it where I came from. Then I had to find out some other shit. That that went in. Okay, great. Now, what is it then? Do you love yourself? Hey. Do you care for yourself? Oh, shit. I was supposed to do that? Mm. I didn't know I was supposed to do that. I thought I was supposed to just love what everybody said about me. They said you weren't going to do this. I'm, I'm playing my role. Bitch, that's not your role. That's what they said about you. What you say? What you say? What's your real role? Do you really like being treated like that? Good morning, cousin. Love you. I didn't like it, but I didn't know I had a choice. Because of it being a pattern, I was ready to blame them for treating me that way. But it wasn't their fault. It was a cycle I was in, a behavior that I was allowing that I kept attracting to me. And I can't blame nobody else because I'm letting it happen. Thank you, cousin. So, who's really at fault here? See, when you can own what you did and how you did it, get what happened. You start healing. And then get what? You start forgiving for real. Because a lot of y'all want to be mad at them people from your past. You can't be mad at them about some shit you did. <laughs> how you going to be mad at them? Uh, I told him to pull my finger and he pulled it. And you fought it. <laughs> and they smelled it. And now you mad. Hey, Steph! Love y'all. So I'm just, I want you to know, I don't want now one of my cousins. Now, if you cross cousin or you cross watcher, say whatever the fuck you want to say. Get your throat together, bitch, and say that shit. Say it. Say it again. Say it loud. One more time for the million in the back. Say it. You can say it. Y'all ass. Hey, Teresa, love you, cousin. Hey, Ash, baby. Love you. You can say to them, love ain't here for me. I don't love. No nobody not going to love me. <laughs> you can sing that song. Come on, get your throat ready. Here we go. <clears throat> Hold on, let me give me a Hold on. Me, 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 me. You've abandoned me. And love don't live here anymore. Do this. Do, 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 do. Do the do's. Do the do. Because if that's where you want to be with it, be right there, bitch. But let me remind you, you ain't never dated. Hey, Kay. You ain't never set a standard. Did, did I do a sis? I tried this time. I was trying. <laughs> I was trying this time. I said, let me, let me bless the people with a little throat action. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Drop the juice first. Drop the juice first. It was the juice. It was the juice. Yeah. I, I had to get it in the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's the juice. It's the juice. So, uh, <laughs> look, she said it's Tish with the doodles. <laughs> Got my back like chiropractics. Do you hear me? Okay. What's up, Keisha? I see you popping here, girl. Hey, I'm glad you said something. I, you know, I want to say hey to you because you're my cousin. I know you know. So, I just want y'all to understand. I didn't know I did I did not know that I wasn't doing it properly until it was pointed out to me. Then I had to do a reevaluation and stop saying certain shit because I was really saying, I'm so tired of love. 
I'm tired of looking. Bitch, I never went the fuck to look. How the fuck I'm going to be tired of some shit I ain't never did? They brought that shit to my house. I got complacent and comfortable. So, hey, cousin, love you. So, I y'all make sure y'all don't speak on your shit like that now. That's why I be saying, when we doing this reading, and there's somebody from the past coming back and saying, quit saying it, cuz. I don't want it, cuz. I know. Shut up. Me too. But I know. But it's not the person. We don't want the cycle. But the cycle is only something that we put ourselves in. So I want us to learn the proper way of forgiveness to stop giving power and blaming other people for a cycle we haven't been able to pull ourselves out of because we're only attracting in those things that are in us that we want to cater to. It's not their fault. They have no power over us to hurt us that bad. It was always us who allowed this to happen. I love you, hey Tara. So don't do that. Don't do that. Not in this season. I'm, it's, it's important, cousin. I'm telling you, some shit coming in. We're going to be real excited. I'm telling you. Even if you got your person, you think that's your person, you better think about that now. Because some of y'all be lying to yourself. Hey, cousin. <laughs> you, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You have not always done this right. Me too. I want me a labradoodle. Or, 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 or a golden doodle. I saw the little golden doodle. Oh, I want one so bad. I feel like I need an emotional support animal. Because, let's be real. It's, it's really hard to be in a relationship with somebody like me. It's hard to be in a friendship with somebody like me. Because you're going to do some shit and I'm going to call you the fuck out. And sometimes people just want to do shit. And they don't like being called out. But if that's the case, they can't receive it. Exactly. And they get all upset <laughs> And then they go off on a little tangent and stuff. But then when they sit and really think about it, you really try to help them. But before then, they done already sabotaged the relationship. So a lot of times, I don't, I don't have good relationships with people. I'm not going to change who I am to, to relate to people because I don't like the relation. Y'all trying to be stupid, and I'm not going to participate in that stupid shit. So I understand that it's going to be kind of hard to love on me. And I know I make it that way, but I ain't finna change it. Because you got people being fake to you. Go be fake with them then. I ain't finna be fake with your ass. I'd rather cut you off than to be fake with you. Hey, Ivy. Love you, girl. Hey. So, I, I'm just trying to be who I am with you together. If you don't like that, then you don't need to be with me. So, yeah, I most definitely think I need a little puppy. Because... I talk to them all the time and love on them and take them places. And we have little matching outfits, you know, at you this point. Because put a, I don't want to get a pocketbook and put me in and we're going to be walking around. This is going to be my best friend. I want me a golden doodle because people ain't finna just treat me. And that's okay. I'm not lonely. I would much rather be alone and be comfortable with myself than to pretend to be happy with somebody that I know I can't even talk to. As soon as I say something, they're going to get offended. If I put a look in my voice, they're going to be like, well, you yelling all up in arms. Nobody want to hear that shit all the goddamn time. So if I got to do that, then fuck it. Shit. Fuck it, bitch. Be by yourself. Hell, at least I can say what I want. When I want, how I want, I can take a deep breath and just be, oh my God, I'm so comfortable with me. I love me. I love the fuck out of me. And I just can't deal with somebody that just, I always got to complain about me, but I always where I'm at. <laughs> Go the fuck over there. Why you over here? That's just like when somebody come on my page that don't know us, and then they be saying little stupid shit, talking about some... You're the devil. Bitch, when did we meet? What have I done devilish to you? I mean, did you hear past anything or did you just... What the fuck? So, yeah, I want me a puppy. <laughs> I want me a motherfucking puppy. Because, y'all, I just had the most difficult thing happen. Now, that's my sister. She the blockbuster. She'll block your ass so quick. 
Now, this is the last intuitive thing I'm going to talk about, but it's, somebody might be going through this. And this ain't even intuitive. This is just giving you a scenario, but I know it's leading into some shit because it's normally why God made me talk about stuff. So I had liked this somebody, you know what I'm saying? However, y'all know my situation. I'm living with my parents. I don't have my own place. I am not in a place to be trying to be in nobody relationship. I got to get my priorities together. I have children. I left a situation in which I was I was scared. It was some stuff going on. I had to get up out of that. I also left from the fact that I couldn't say no to a lot of things and I was getting pumped. So I'm like, if I go to my mom and them house, y'all ain't going to bring y'all ass over here doing that. So I did what I could do to get my shit together. I'm not ashamed of it. I don't give a fuck how you feel about it. I ain't asked you to pay my car note. I ain't asked you to pay my insurance. My phone is clearly on because I'm talking to y'all motherfuckers. So if I ain't asked you for shit, don't feel like you got to be obligated to do shit for me because I ain't need it. I'm fine in my situation. But my situation requires me to get my shit together and not be trying to fuck on nobody's son. That's not where I'm at right now. So, what I'm trying to do is make it where the things that I want in life, I can afford on my own. And I don't want to draw nobody into it. I don't want nobody thinking that, oh, uh, you with me, so you got to pay for this and pay for that. No, the fuck you don't. No, the fuck you don't. Let me do it for myself first. So, I'm not the one that's been pushing myself up on somebody, but I told somebody this recently. I said, hey, I like you a lot, but right now I'm not in the area of my life. I don't want to put no pressure on you. I have four children, so what we can do is be friends. If we can work on this friendship with some, add some benefits to it, that'll work out, but don't get too caught up in your feelings because I cannot give you that. You know this motherfucker got mad. Do you know this motherfucker flipped the script on me? Start raising voices and talking shit, girl. I had to clutch my pearls. Do you know this motherfucker is blickety blocked now? Because <laughs> most of the times, a nigga be on some goddamn. <laughs> Shut up, Tish. All the time, a nigga be on some goddamn. Oh, she just want to lose, use you. I ain't trying to use you, my nigga. I can't afford to date nobody right now. I can go out and buy me something to eat, but I don't want to just do that. I want to be all right. I want to get back to where I was before I had to let all this shit go. I ain't lost nothing. A bitch can't take shit from me but notes. So if I ain't got it, I gave that shit away. I'm telling you I walked away from it. I promise you. I promise you. Put that on, put that on my grandma. <laughs> okay? I promise you I walked away from some shit. And look, she said blickety block is my new friend. <laughs> I blickety block that ass because quit playing with me. Now, I was trying to do what niggas be saying we don't do. Who that dead motherfucker? Shut up. Um, Kevin Samuels, he just said his name. That ain't that him with the glasses. Mm -hmm. Now, you sit up there and you try to talk. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. That's why you did. I ain't got no remorse. Because you know, I'm sorry, y'all. They interrupting some of the shit. They do be talking. Okay. Anywho, we ain't going to talk to the dead. Anywho, anywho, they be saying little shit. Holding conversations about shit, and then it'd be a bitch like me out here that's really not doing what the fuck they said that will put her own self on blast. Then what they gonna say then? What they gonna say? Oh, he is talking, he got cash money shit to say. I'm telling you, that fake must stay right the fuck here. Fuck you, nigga. Fuck you. Uh, I know. I, I fucking know. I fucking know. You ain't got not one argument with me, fuck nigga. Not one. <laughs> not a one. Cause I stand my I stand on my shit. Ten motherfucking toes. So you didn't meet every fucking woman. That's what it is. Bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Y'all, they get to talking to me. They come in and all kind of shit. But I'm just saying. They was describing a type of woman, true enough. But it's some other women out here. Mm -hmm. Baby, say that again. The one or the motherfucker two. Hey, time out. Who he would he wouldn't, but that's what he's saying. He's like, oh, it's just you, you, you the one, no nigga, cause I got a group of cousins. Hey, hey, we the ones, the ones. 
We ain't out here doing all this carrying on what other folks is doing. We know how to cook our own food. Baking cakes and shit too. Y'all meet a few bitches that y'all went looking for. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Clear the table. Clear the table. Say the shit like you gotta say it. Y'all was looking for body parts. And then when the bitch didn't add up to what you wanted it to be, then you start coming up with all this shit about what women were and all this stuff. You never looked at a real woman. You looked at some Barbie doll shit y'all made up. An image that you wanted. But if you ever tried a real woman, shut the fuck up. Whatever. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. Shut that down. Grandma. Let's get into the love reading. <laughs> Let's get into the love reading. Now the dead has risen. Okay. <laughs> They won't come out talking, okay? Uh, they didn't share that though. They talk, they, they shared when they talked about the women. They didn't share that though. Look at this. Look at this. King of Sword. I mean, King of Wands in reverse. Ruthless, impulsive, high expectations, unachievable expectations, unachievable expectations. You were putting expectations on stuff that was unachievable. I ain't finna do that. I know what I'm not, I don't want to go to Papa Do's. Number one reason, number one reason, I don't like sitting around a lot of people. Number two, this shit is too overpriced and it don't taste good to me. This bitch up here talking about she gonna go to Cheesecake Factory. I love the Cheesecake Factory, motherfucker. I love that chicken parmesan that they got at the Cheesecake. Why can we can't go there? As a matter of fact, I do you one even better. You can call me what you want to. Yo, you just a cheap bitch. Oh, you don't like nothing, bitch. I like what I like. Take me to AJ's Fish. Give me a number nine, four piece. Make it a fucking large because I want my peach drink in that big ass styrofoam cup. I like styrofoam cups. I don't toot up like these cups because they sweat. So I prefer a styrofoam cup if you really want to know the truth. I want what I want. I don't eat all that other shit. It might make my stomach hurt. So if you that motherfucking bougie, do your thing, bitch. But don't judge me because I like what the fuck I like. I don't want to eat that. And I'm not going to make this nigga take me nowhere I can't afford to take myself. Shit. Mm -hmm. The fuck you thought I was going to do? Oh, you a broke bitch. I'll be that shit, bitch. But I feel what I'm doing, E. I'm still motherfucking E. And get away. And get away. Get away. Get away. He, he got me a 3-5. Cause really, I don't want to sit in that restaurant and I want to sit in the car and eat that food because I'm only going to take a few bites and then I'm going to want to smoke. So you might want to take me somewhere where we can do all the shit I want so I can like you. Because if you're trying to impress me with the, the paint on the wall, I'm not going to eat none of this shit on this menu. I don't even know what the fuck that's saying. Can we go to Wendy's? What my you? I don't fucking want that. Give me what I asked for. <clears throat> or get the fuck out of my face. I ain't finna put on for nobody's city. The city ain't did shit for me. What do I want? Y'all. I'm sorry Kevin Samuels came here and pissed me off a little bit. I get where you come from <coughs> though, my dog. But no, y'all did. That's not right though. It's not fair. And I just wanted to throw that out. I'm not trying to start you back up. I'm just wanting to throw that out. That wasn't fair. Y'all always talking about women this and women that. You never ever. See, I want them to create a show <laughs> with a woman like me. Look, 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 look at me now. Look at me. Look at me. Let me take my jacket off. I got four kids. You hear me? Four of them. I got me a piece of fupa right here that's bigger than my ass. I, my titties do. I fed four children with these titties. They did not sit up no well. I got a sports bra on. This is what it do. Look at all the stretch marks on my belly. Take a regular real bitch like me with a personality like mine with some flappers under her motherfucking arms and then take her to meet a motherfucker and let him fall in love. And bitch, if you got enough money, build the body that you want me to have. But I would love for you to meet me first. Get into this motherfucking personality. Get into this motherfucking, this, this arm right here. That shit cook in the kitchen. That shit work. I be in that bitch like this, nigga. I will make you a plate. But get to know the real me. Get all the way down in it. Fuck what I look like. Fall in love. And then tell me it ain't no real bitches out here. Do that first. Because mm. this long back right here be goddamn 
Aww. You never gonna see me out there. Thank you, Shanice. I love you, cousin. You never gonna see me out there. Cause look, look what came out. Look at her, Queen of Pentacles, bitch. Providing financial, a working parent, a nurturing, practical woman. Hey. The Queen of Coins in this position advises you to trust the forces that have taken care of you. To up oh, I like those glasses. Thank you, cousin. They done took care of you to up to this point. Some of y'all still raising people and they don't even see the value inside of you. Cut them the fuck off. Cut them off. Ah, thank you, cousin. Thank you, Holly. Cut them off. Cut them off. You don't, they don't even have to be an option because... Oh, thank you, cousin, because I'm gonna be, I, I, I can't be nobody else. That shit is exhausting. If I tried to please everybody, because people are not happy, no matter what you do, they ain't happy with they sell. Mm -hmm. I kiss you right back. I love you. Thank you, cousin. Oh, that's cute. They not happy with they sell. Look, look at this. Look at this. Okay, now we're cooking with grease. Look at them three, three right there. That's what we're talking about. Come to a victory. Let me break it down to you. I'm going to talk to you how I do it. Oh, thank you for the rose. I love you, cousin. Look at this. These people have high expectations on you, not even looking at the value that you have. They really could just work with you so that y'all can have a collaboration. However, materialism is the word right here. You see that word right there? They're looking at what other people are going to think. Oh, she looked like this. She looked like that. If you get over that shit, guess what you got? A victory. Baby, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Um, cousins, cover your ears. I want to talk to my husband because I know he watching me. Okay? Hold on. I'll be right back. Hey, babe. <laughs> husband. So check this out. Because I love you so much. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. You, you picked me. You picked me. I am going to, mm -mm. Mm. okay, so I just want you to understand, husband, okay, understand, whatever I don't look like that you want me to look like at this moment, <laughs> come here and act right, we're going to get it together, we, me, you, us, this, we, together, mm-hmm, hey, hey, Talking to my husband real quick, you know. But it's okay. Hold on. I just had to say hey to him. Hold on. I'm back. I'm back. We gonna celebrate. We are gonna do a lot of shit. I got you. I, I got you. But if it's some imperfection going on with my body, understand. I've embraced all of me. I ain't ashamed of what I got going on. No more. I used to be. I thought I had to look like something else. This is a nice ride. Okay? Airbags included. The blinkers work. Now, if you want to take this ride, now, if you want to take this ride, <laughs> and then what she said on the song, we can go all night. Shit. <laughs> However you want to do this, sky. we can go to the skies if you like. Mm -hmm. You know? I just want you to understand, sir. I'm finna fuck you up. You finna be so, you gonna be ready to get off work every day so you can come home to me. You finna be so upset if somebody make you late for getting to where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Because that is how much I plan on loving you. Hey, my sister said hey. <laughs> she said hey, bro. Exactly. She already love you. She already called you, bro. That's just how intense it's finna get around here. Mm -hmm. Fuck around and find out. Fuck around and find out. Boy, I'm finna love, I'm finna love the shit. Oh, I'm finna love you. Mm-hmm. You ain't never had it like that before. You ain't gonna never have it like that afterwards. If a bitch thinks she gonna love you better than me, I better be motherfucking dead and approved her. Cause other than that, it ain't it ain't possible. It ain't going down. Okay. Oh, I just want you. I just had to address you, sir. I love you. Yes. Look at this. Look, why is the marriage card here? Why is the marriage card here? And it says advice. Learn everything you can about your chosen area. Sir, you my chosen area. Mm. I want to learn everything I need to know about you. Hurry the fuck up. I got my pen in my pad. I'm trying to take it down. 
Let the knowledge become a part of you, sir. We're going to become one. I want you all up in this. All up in it. Put it on me. Okay? If I can jump in you, I will. But if I can't, then I'm just going to read all your soul. Don't worry about it. I got you. Earn respect and recognition by completing your education and broadening your experience. I'm already a wife. I done experimented with all of these. I'm telling you, I done did it. I got you. I'm ready for you. I ain't ready to be nobody girlfriend, though. I ain't no little girl. I'm a whole wife woman out here. Yeah, all this girlfriend shit, you got to get somebody else to play that. I'm not going to do that, okay? Focus on your goal and be determined. Sir, like that song said by Marvin Gaye, I want you. But I want you to want me too. I ain't trying to settle. You my husband. I love the shit out of you. But if I ain't what you want, I can unlove your motherfucking ass. I do that a lot. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Establish real credibility in your field of chosen subjects. See, if we credible with each other, we, ain't even, we can scratch that last sentence. You know what I'm saying? We can scratch that last We ain't even going to never reach that road. Let's be credible with each other. How about that? Mm -hmm. Anthony, you put your phone up up here. Y'all, somebody's going to call Anthony. <laughs> Call him. Oh. Him. <laughs> Call him today. Look at that car. Flew up. <gasps> it's the devil. He flew on the floor, y'all. Let me go get it. And it's got the number 15 on there. And tomorrow is the 15th. Don't show up here tomorrow talking about some you got some Valentine's Day present. That shit today. Anybody trying to Valentine me tomorrow? I ain't no side piece. Don't fucking play with me. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a when that shit go on discount. Right. Oh, thank you. Love you, cousin. They want to give you the discount Valentine's shit. Uh-uh. Don't do me. Oh, look at that. They got 13. That was yesterday. Uh-oh. Oh, moving on calm water. Something going slow. What's happening? I need one more, y'all. One more. There go the high priestess. Look her. Oh, okay. Somebody finna have to take a risk. Somebody about to be a risk taker. Like Anthony did. He was like, fuck all that shit. Put my number up there. Y'all can keep playing. <laughs> we finna jump, jump off this shit. Hey, time out. So, okay, here's the thing. There's a bit of codependency. I'm reading the bottom of the card. I'm not making up the shit for you, okay? Codependency, sexuality, addiction, restriction, materialism. A lot of us are ready for the person because we want to be hunched on. Present. Mm, mm, mm. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I like you. Present. <laughs> <laughs> right, right look, two says you're gonna leave me. Yeah. I, I definitely want to be hunched on. Real, real good. Real good. And it's like if you just come on in with this fish in this cup and just give me what I want. We look. It's a end of a cycle. We can go ahead and end that bullshit that we playing with everybody else. We can just if we can move on to calmer waters. We can slowly get to know each other because our intuition is gonna let us know what it is that we need to do. You know, we need to just take that risk and we need to go. And that's the truth. But y'all like, damn, that's how they be said that. Yes. The truth of the matter is, a lot of us are holding on to like a dogma of what we think a relationship is supposed to be based off of where we came from. Like I told y'all what I thought about dating. And that was wrong as fuck. So, <laughs> present. <laughs> so, maybe our thought process on jumping into stuff with people is might be a little tainted and we gotta think differently for the sake of us. I mean, I put myself out there like that. I'm telling y'all, I didn't never, never date. Even to this day now, if I go out with a nigga, I got my wallet. Because I will, where I come from, niggas act like it's something for them to buy you something to eat. They really be up in arms about that. And I, I might have hurt somebody's feeling recently, but I'm just trying to get an understanding. I'm trying to understand this part right here. You work for a company. You have a car note. 
You're renting a room. What the fuck am I going to take from you? Because you don't own shit. You waited two weeks to get that little bullshit ass check that you got to pay half of it to your cell phone bill and your car insurance. You ain't got nothing but a couple hundred dollars left over. And that's the highlight of your life? Life. And you're mad at me because you think I want them little two little fucking hundred dollars? You got $200 left out of $1,500 that you worked for for two weeks and you're telling everybody that I'm going to come and steal something from you. What the fuck do you have? <laughs> what am I going to get away with? Hell no. So, <laughs> I, I, that's, a, that's a reason too that I don't date because I'm so tired of niggas that ain't got shit. Making it seem like I'm trying to take some shit from them. What the fuck can I take? I wouldn't even take notes from you. Because clearly you ain't got shit to show. I don't want to follow that. And I am worth more than that. You better say that, cousin. Sister, flag on the play. <laughs> Look, I'm just... Make it make sense. Make it. Because you work... Oh, I work for a Fortune 500 company. Guess what? However much money they make off of you, they only pay you a percentage. I'm not impressed. Well, uh, I've been doing, I, I got, I own this and I own that. You have a motorcycle that you don't even know how to drive. Last time you got on it, you flipped and you got scared and you didn't even make it out the driveway. So you just bought some shit to say you had it. You know how many children hospitals are in Clayton County? Fucking none. You could have donated that towards the county or something. I don't know. You could have did something worth doing besides just showing everybody that you have a motorcycle that you got laid up beside the wall at your house. Um. <clears throat> Look, ain't got no Fortune 500 dollars. <laughs> Put your Fortune 500 come. Bring the jet post. <laughs> Put that up there. Uh. It's not right. It's not the flex that you think it is. And now I'm looking at you like this. And the more that you try to flex on me by saying, I ain't finna let no girl get this or no girl get that. Where's these girls that you're talking about? Because it's a whole woman right here. And um, I don't want that shit anyway. Can we talk about some stuff that's, where's your, do you have life insurance? Oh, I don't like talking about stuff like this conversation is the fuck over with. No, the fucking void. It's 11 11 on my clock. It's a lot of y'all being that, that, that ain't got life insurance that's trying to flex on a bitch. You need to flex your ass on a motherfucking policy at 11 11. I'm just gonna throw that out there now. Because one thing about me, I really don't want no nigga that ain't got life insurance. Because somewhere in the line, I could just met you. But if your ass go ahead and leave me, they gonna be looking at me like I'm supposed to bury you. Now it's time I tell you, mama had her mouth on every goddamn thing until it came time to pay for some shit. Now all of a sudden, that was your man. And da, da, da. If he didn't marry me, no the fuck it ain't. You still next to damn kin, Brenda. So, I'm just trying to say, while we talk about love and we in love, make sure we in love with the right shit. Hey, Jay, love you. Look, I will cremate the fuck out of your ass. I will keep you with me forever because don't think I won't sprinkle you over a blunt and roll you the fuck up. I will. I, will, I always want to see how that shit hit. I ain't never had that. And I love my husband. God knows I do. And I sprinkle his ashes over my blood and smoke them shits true. Yes, I will. Mm, mm. Do, your, do your church face. Mm. I love him. I did. I loved him till I smoked him. I did. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Get me to cutting up. <laughs> That's a good man, Savannah. <laughs> God knows I do. Yes, listen, look. Mix them up. Let's get it. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> Look all the shit they ain't talking about. Let's see what they talking about. Hold on, y'all. Because they've they, they been talking to us today. I like this kind of character. Oh. So, look. <laughs> The thing is, they got all these high pay, high expectations, but the truth of the matter is, they the one who be pursuing you. See, like, even if you have to leave first and move on to calmer waters and leave shit alone, you will somewhat mind your black ass business, white ass business, Hispanic ass business, Asian ass business, your motherfucking business. That's why I like to use the word motherfucker. You will mind your motherfucking business, and this person chase you down. You hear? And look, 
Like I just said for myself, I'm trying to provide for me. I'm not stable enough to show you some type of love that you're looking for. And neither the fuck are you working for everybody's self ass. So look, I can see clearly now the bullshit's gone. And in my seeing clearly, we can have a collaboration. We can work on building something. You see that? Building something. We can, I can clearly see that I got to get my shit together so we can build some shit. Okay? And then, look, look. Now, mind you, it's in the reverse right here. That's the first card. And then I can reunite with King Ding Ling. But I'm sorry. I ain't in the mood if I ain't in my bag. I ain't in the mood if I ain't in my bag. I don't want to be hunching on about it and I can't afford to put gas in my car. What the fuck is wrong with you? Dummy? Why? So you can go out here and talk, tell everybody all your cousins and auntie them. Oh, she always asking me for gas, buddy. I asked you for a motherfucking thing, but to get the fuck out my face until I was ready. Because look, if we don't have what it is that we need, bad luck, will of fortune in reverse, materialism, indulgence, inner happiness, dissatisfaction. I'm not going to be happy with trying to hunch on you and fuck around and make a mistake and end up pregnant and then got another mouth to fucking feed and nowhere to put it. Stupid. So look, I'm choosing victory. I don't want to be in a mental prison. And I put myself there. Them ropes ain't tight around her. She can take that shit off her face. She can walk right up out of there. But she's standing in her emotions. Look at her feet in the water. I'm not thinking emotionally. I'm thinking logically. I want to win. I want you to win. I'm not signing up for another episode of fucking Struggle Love. We already don't watch that season. That season over with. What I said that season I with that fucking and shit wanna be toxic and shit dead death in reverse ain't no rebirth on that the shit is over with I'm not going for it so look if you want to come offer me this cup of love understanding I'm standing on business I mean what the fuck I say I'm not gonna all I do is win 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 no matter what I'm not gonna lose again because of me and my impatience with myself that's why I ended that type of behavior and I'm on to a new beginning that won't leave me left out in the cold that won't leave me out here feeling like hey, do you know some of y'all don't know but I'm gonna tell you one thing to have a child for somebody and watch them leave you Three times? I cannot be mad at neither one of them men. It was something going on with me. That three men that I chose to procreate with are not here. And if I wanted to be mad at them at one point, I allowed it. And I don't take nothing light. And I appreciate them for my children. But it was me who was the problem. Because how did I continue to find myself there? So I'm not going to give them that credit to say that they did this to me. No, they ain't got enough power. They ain't got enough power. Psh, you know why? Because I knew better. And when I decided to know better, that's when I moved on to calmer waters. It was up to me. Mind you, she already here. <laughs> and slowly but surely, I had to stop falling in love with potential. I had to realize that was not love. What I thought was love, that was not it. That was manipulation. I was being manipulated and I did not know. What did it say? <laughs> but I am no longer the wounded warrior because my intuition has kicked in for me to understand what I'm supposed to be doing. What's at the bottom, you know? And the seeds I've sown. You better say it, cuz that was the part right there. The seeds that I have sown have shown that I am ready for something new on another level outside of what I grew up knowing. Outside of my home, we're bringing somebody over to the house to talk about some hay. You can take them over somebody else's house. I ain't going for it no more. I checked out. I am no longer present. And cousins, I'm only telling you all of these things because, like I said, I didn't know that it wasn't love. 
I thought that was some type of, oh, he came over here to chill with me. He loved me. Uh-uh. He came as much as I let him come. I was throwing a little pussy at him or something like that. He needed him somewhere to go. That's called a homosexual. Because I be wondering, how these niggas' leases be up right where they meet you, too? Like, have you ever dated somebody? They had their house, and all the time when y'all weren't talking, they was just fly as fuck. Soon as you get with them, they need something. They lease up. They at your house every goddamn day. Uh. This. I, I be confusion. Where your damn house at? How your lease end up right now? No, go get another girlfriend. Let's see if your lease still be up. Um, I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Oh, hey, I like that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Y'all know they gonna make me cry like a little bitch. <laughs> I wanna thank God right now for the ability to love myself again. Hold on. I really thank the Lord for allowing me to love on myself again because. Well, no, no, I can't even say again. Because I don't think I ever loved on myself. Because <laughs> I <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm trying to fuck. I'm telling you. But judging on what Spirit is saying right here, y'all, we done came up out of this. We done came up out of this, and it's our turn. Hey, husband. Hey, hey, husband, you need to get me a, um, what them thing is, like a sponsorship for me to do, like, teeth whitening and shit or something like that. I need a couple dollars. So tell the, the Colgate people that I, um, I smile for the camera, but gonna put me in position, baby, so I can get us together now. You want me to have all this stuff and match you? I don't mind matching your swag. <laughs> swag me up, though, boo. Send them my way, okay? Okay, husband. I love you. Okay. Oh, yes. Now, this is the shit y'all like to hear. Y'all, the ratchet cousins. Y'all motherfuckers gonna be so happy. Okay, okay. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna cry. I'm just gonna tell the story. So, you're not gonna have to juggle anymore. I know that because of this. God is about to shake something up in your life because you have chosen to stand on your throne. You're about to get something brand spanking new after dealing with all of this heartbreak. Since you know better now, you're doing better. So it's the ending of all of that carrying on for you. I like that. You have jumped in the empress mode, okay? So now you won't be losing no sleep at night, you know? So <laughs> who does it? What you say? Put me on because you want to do, uh-huh. Don't, cousin, say it. Don't pressure me, because let me tell you something. Hold on, pick your titties up. Clutch your pearls. I'm big pressure. Yeah, tell them, cuz, we big pressure. What they mean? So look, you in Empress mode right now. Titties up. And you ain't confused in your head no more and losing no sleep because you're realizing that being by yourself is not being alone. This is a single person card, but look at that. Being by yourself is not being alone. And you've learned to temper yourself. You've learned to calm down some of those emotions. And now something is about to be revealed to you. Because you really had to go and put some blocks on and block some people out. But now you got options that you didn't know you had. Guess what? When you look at certain people now, you can see clearly now. Because the bullshit gone. You're going to be able to look past those things that you kept putting yourself in. And it's an offer about to get ready to come in to you. And it ain't nobody from, this is the part where y'all can be all excited with y'all about it. And this ain't no plan from no past. This some new shit. This some new shit. And guess what? They ain't holding on to none of that energy that you was, you was like, oh, I'm attracting this. Oh, well, not you. I did. I kept attracting the same type of person. I ain't going to put it off on you. I take my ownership. I was attracting the same type of person and now I'm not. Because I realized that, look, that was toxic love. So I don't entertain toxic situations no more. So now somebody can come and offer me something that is new, fresh, great. 
And I'm just like, just fuck about it. How y'all feeling? Do you realize that once we address something and take ownership and have accountability for our part, the curse of that is immediately broken because we've acknowledged the problem and then we've accepted our part in it. So that curse is, I'm expecting to meet somebody to fuck today. And then, how about this? Shit, I really just, when I leave from here, I'm going to go get in the school lane. So I know I ain't going to meet nobody like that. But I got to stop to the store later on. I might run into somebody at the store. I don't, I don't know because I'm, I'm a homebody. I like to be alone. I don't never be with people. So I'm just, I'll be trying to figure out where I'm going to meet somebody at. But I ain't going to set nothing up. But I do know I got to go to the store today. So am I going to look? I'm going to look. But not like, is that him? Is that him? Not like that. Don't be stupid. But be inviting. Do not go to the store today knowing that it's a possibility that God can bring somebody your way that you probably been waiting on with your face like this. But wait like this. I'm waiting. I want to see today. I have high expectations, you know. Change your attitude. Change the way you carry yourself. Don't nobody want to walk up on no bitch that look like this all the time. I'm like, what the fuck wrong with her? She all right? Don't fix your face, cousin. Fix your face. I ain't wearing no makeup. You know, I don't do that shit. I don't wear no makeup. And then if my lipstick wear off, the shit just wear the fuck off. I don't care. I talk to this shit. Go. And then I put some on later on, whatever the case is. But be your true, authentic self. Don't be no... Body else. Don't introduce them to who you think they want to see. If you want somebody to be real with you, introduce them to who the fuck you really is. I'm Jetta and I cuss. I also smoke hella weed. I'm not too big on drinking. I will have a drink, but make it half the cup because I really don't want that much. I do not like my vibrations low like that. Don't try to take me to no real fancy restaurant. I'm not going to eat this shit. It look nasty, and I don't like the way it's smelling here, and people too quiet, and I might want to talk a little loud. Let's go to Longhorn. Matter of fact, it's Thursday, and we go to Chili's. Do you know I really love that bread at Old Charlie's? With they salad, that shit hit together. So don't try to impress me with no extra, extra shit. I'm not her. I'm not trying to talk down on myself. No, I don't feel like, oh, I have a broke mentality. I don't fucking like that shit. I don't like all those people around me. Okay? I got to be me. I'm not comfortable like that. You really want to impress me? Take me to a nice water park or uh, uh, where the waterfalls is at. And let me sit in the grass with my shoes off and don't talk to me. Let me enjoy what I'm looking at that God put here for me to see that you done brought me to. After I done looked at it for a good 30 to 45 minutes, if I say, hey, thank you, then offer me some chicken. It can be cold. We don't need a microwave. I like cold chicken. You got spy sauce? Texas peat, preferably. Okay? Unless, unless it's baked chicken, then I do bulls. But on fried chicken, I like Texas peat a little thicker. It's thick on the, the um, skin a little better. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got my preferences. Don't try to change me. Don't, don't come in here, I'm going to show you this new life and I'm going to make you eat this. I'm not going to eat no escargot. I found out what the fuck that is. I don't want that. Fucking snail eggs. I don't want that. Don't give me no shit that sound funny. Chicken. Fish. Salad. Noodles. I still eat ramen noodles. I like them. Boiled eggs is my absolute favorite. I can eat boiled eggs for breakfast every day. I'm not really a breakfast person. If it's breakfast time, it might be like 3 o'clock in the morning and it's Waffle House. Leave all the grease on the stove when you're cooking my food. I like that. I am not here to change who I am for the benefit of anybody else. I like me. So if you don't like me, if I am too, my standards are too low for you, don't come over here fucking talking to me. I'm not her. Don't try to make me see no shit that's going to, you trying to judge me because I don't want what you want. We're not going there. We're not doing that. That ain't it. This ain't it. Okay? And cousins, 
it's okay to not want what everybody the fuck want. I would love for my jeans to fit a different type of way, but I ain't too tough to go get a new ass. I'm not. I like sitting on the one I got. I still fart like everybody else. The shit still stay. That's what asses do. So, I don't need to go buy a new one for you to smell the same shit that's going to come out the, the old one. He ain't going to change my booty hole. And it ain't going to change what I eat, neither. If you don't like the way my body built, you don't like me. And that is fine. I cannot make somebody like me because can't nobody make me like them. And that should be okay. But when somebody's trying to protect you and themselves and they care enough about you to say, I am not physically able to be in a relationship right now. Except that this bitch ain't trying to run you in the ground like y'all be saying bitches do. I can't. Nothing excites me about meeting somebody. I want to be the lender, not the borrower. I want to be above, not beneath. Just like they say in church. Everything that the Lord say I am, I want to be that before I start trying to share myself and share my world. And that's all right. Ain't now one of y'all going to lose no sleep about what the fuck I'm doing. And vice versa. But what you will lose is respect for me if I did it in, in a way that was lying. And I don't want to lose no respect with nobody. So in my truth, I'm comfortable with how I am until I get it another way. I'm not complacent where I am. But I'm comfortable with my decision that I will not infringe upon somebody else's freedom to live how they want to live because I can't afford to do so at this very moment. I might like you, but I will never use you. I can like you from over here. You still cute. I love you, cousin. You still cute as fuck, but let's be real. I'm not her. Not right now. And you shouldn't want that. You should not want somebody that can't do for you like how you do for them. Because you're important too. You matter. Do you know a lot of times men look to be so stable so they can get with a woman. But what you don't know, a lot of you men need to let your guard down. Because a lot of us women like to cater. I am a woman that likes to give my man. I am a woman that will rub your feet when you come home. I'm doing pedicures. I'm talking to you. I'm listening to you. So I want somebody who's comfortable with me loving on you. A lot of people are not comfortable being loved because they haven't received that type of love before. I give a lot of love. You have to be ready to receive that from me. I'm not going to force it on you, though. Think about how I love on y'all, cuz. Like, I really be here. For 1030. Y'all not paying me for this. The conversations we have are based off of the fact that we care about each other and we love each other. So if I'm here with you and y'all here with me, what I'm going to do for him? And all I'm asking for is reciprocity. And for you to be able to accept. Acceptance. Please accept the love that I want to give to you. I don't need to give it to you. None of that. I desire to. I want to love you. In full capacity. And I want you to let me. I'm a Scorpio cousin, so you know us water signs. We, we be going there, okay? Anywho, tomorrow is our favorite day. It's that's a random Thursday. Tomorrow. I'm glad you sat with me today on what's going on Wednesday. So now that we know what's going on, come in here tomorrow with your numbers. I am going to go with, I'm going to go with three and four. I ain't picked the last two in a long time. So I'm picking three and four for tomorrow. But I love you, cousin. I wish you nothing but the best all day. Happy love day. Happy conception day to everybody that was born on November the 14th. All that good shit. Have a great day, y'all. And no weapons formed against you will prosper. Not even no weapons that we form against ourselves. We're going to do better. Watch.
we're going to be a lot better than we used to be. All we have to do is trust in God, not people. Trust God. He'll get